Hey, how y'all doing? This is uh, Nick Head. I am the creator, producer, and director of The Designer's Garment. I um, just want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, about the film, about particularly one aspect of the film, um, the love story. You know, who doesn't want to see a love story? Actually, there's two people, two kinds of people that want to see a love story. Those that are in relationships and those that want to be in relationships. Wow, that's everybody. So I know this is a film that everybody is going to want to see. And there are love stories scattered through this whole this whole uh, project. But I'm going to talk about one in particular, the uh, love story between our two main characters, Jules and Jay. Now, first of all, Jules, you know, uh, professionally, she's very cunning, very vibrant, very articulate, you know, can stand up for herself, can hold her own, you know, carries herself very well, very professional. Um, on a personal level, um, she's not that feisty, but uh, you know the phrase, when somebody shows you something, shows you something about themselves, believe them. Well, she's one that will definitely learn the lesson that you teach that you teach her about yourself the first time that you teach it. And so the lesson that Jay has taught her um, by the time that we meet these people in the film is a lesson um, that she has learned and she has decided to move on because of it. Um, the lesson that he taught her was, you know, he is a hip hop artist. And he's living that hip-hop lifestyle and that, that lifestyle that is afforded to him by being a hip-hop artist. You know, having women um, other than her um, anytime he wants, as many as he wants to at a time. You know, and so this is the way that he has, has chosen to live. And though she's fine with that and she has decided to move on, you know. And I mean, you know, he lives that type of lifestyle. There are NFL ballers and NBA ballers that live that type of lifestyle. You know, they're, they're really living the life of, of the men of, of old, you know. Um, even in the Bible days, um, you know, you had King Solomon with his wives and concubines, you know. And I'm sure King David, you know, he had the same kind of opportunities, if you want to say. And also, you know, you had, um, you know, Abraham. Abraham impregnated Sarah when she was 60-something years old, but I mean... Um, before then, she went and got somebody for him to consummate with so he could have other children, you know, before um, the miracle of, of her being able to bear children. You know what I mean? And, you know, so it was running the mill. You know, men had more than one. And I'm not quite sure where in history it said that, you know, we're going to go with just, you know, men just having one wife. And that's it. You know what I mean? And so now that is pretty much the, the norm. Um, there are some situations where, you know, females allow it, you know. In fact, the uh, the, the wives of, of the ballers, NFL and the NBA ballers and, and some of the uh, some of the movie stars and even the, the hip hop stars will say, you know, you know, I love him. He loves me. But when he's on the road, I don't want to know what he does. I just don't even want to know. They kind of turn a blind eye to it. So, you know, we kind of turn a blind eye to it. It's like they're kind of condoning it a little bit, you know. But if your wife, you know, knows and here's, here's the meat of, meat of potatoes of it fellas if if your wife knows and does not approve it's cheating um, if she don't know at all it's cheating now for a small amount of you if your wife knows and she's cool with it wow you know it's not cheating it's not adultery you know she might be doing the same thing I don't know you may want to check up on that I don't know you know what's say what's good for the goose is good for the gander you know what I'm saying but you know, if you're going to cheat, man, cheating, man, uh, like, um, it's, it's just a risky business. My dad always said, you know, anything you got to sneak and do, maybe you just shouldn't do because, I mean, it's going to be trouble. It's going to end up in trouble, you know, and these days it's not just smart to cheat, man. You know, you got social media, Facebook, Twitter, the infamous Instagram. If anything can get you in trouble, Instagram will get you in trouble. Like, seriously. You know, I don't condone cheating. I wouldn't advise you to cheat, but if you're going to do it, don't have your side piece all out in the street, man. You know, it's better to take it to a, a well, a, well, a, a not well, known, not so well known kind of restaurant or club, maybe in the booth, in the back, in the corner, in the dark. Hmm. Now, where have I heard that before? There's the time out cafe. Yes. I'll be in the booth. In the booth. In the back. In the back. In the corner. In the corner. In the dark. In the dark. <laughs> Woo! Who's in the back, in the corner, in the dark? Yeah. 
And um, no matter what boo sitting back in the corner in the dark when you are at at the time, you better hope and pray that TMZ is nowhere in the vicinity. Or else, you may have an image like this creeping through the net real soon. <laughs> listen, uh, to my beautiful wife, if you're if you're watching this, um, listen, that image that you just saw was not me and uh, Rashida from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. It, it was not. I, I promise you. I, I promise you. Oh my God, it was not. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've been to Atlanta. I have been to Atlanta. You know in years even before we were, were we were together you know what i mean so i'm sure her and her husband mr kirk frost are off doing some some marital type thing you know chilling you and i are about to embark on eight wonderful years of marital bliss and i have never stepped out at all you know not even thinking about it no 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 everything is fine i love you dear we're moving right along though uh we're gonna talk about jules and and, and uh jules and jay some more um so jay is living that play a lifestyle you know have every woman he can have however many women he wants when he wants to have them you know the life that every man would love to revert back to you know and they at least think about it at least once a week maybe twice a week maybe once or twice a week maybe I was, yeah. anyway you know you, you know how you know how much we I mean you know how much men think about it you know anyway um, but he realizes that he has made a mistake because the one woman that he needed, he doesn't have anymore. She's not around, you know, and his heart is hurting. And it's just, the, you know, that kick in the head moment that, that we get, we get, fellas. Let me tell you something, ladies. You will never see a guy act like this. But we do have these moments. And see. Why am I so stupid? Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm that oh dumb. My God. I don't know why. I'm not right. I'm not right. I'm not right. And see. But yeah, you know, we have those moments. And so what he does is he um, decides to rectify the situation. He decides to try to change his life around and try to win her heart back. But it's not looking so good for him. Because like I said, she a one and done. You know what I mean? Like, you know... She's a fool me once type of girl. And not to mention the pit bull he got to go through. Yeah, she got this bestie slash assistant by the name of Janae. She cannot stand womanizers and cannot stand him times 10 that. You know what I mean? So, it ain't looking so good for him, really. It, it, it ain't. Will he indeed recapture and regain the heart of Miss Jules? Did you really expect me to tell you that? Come on now. I am not a spoiler alert type of guy. It's not what I do. No. No. But I tell you what you can do though. You can come to this campaign page, contribute, get the perks, share the campaign on, on Facebook, share it out on Twitter, follow us so we can keep up with what's going on and, and how we're how we're how things are transpiring. You know what I mean? Do those type of things that support us. And that's how you actually help us to make the film. And once we've made the film, then you'll see what happens. And trust me, you're going to love it. Peace.